Hi again everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Societal Narcissism and this video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous and here's our story. Hi Ollie, hope all is well. Well here goes another dog story for you. I believe I've written in before. People next door have three ya have three yappy dogs. Ugh. And there are, like and I've talked about the yappy dogs. My my original video about dogs, I mean this was like nine years ago, ten years ago now, it was about yappy dogs, it was about my parents, um Yorkie. And this is this is a, another type of narcissist that wants to force everybody, force their dog on you. Um, you know, we all know where I'm at with pit bulls, but I've done several videos about these type of dogs. You know, these are your typical emotional support dogs that are dragged in the stores and dragged into restaurants and dragged in the supermarkets and look how cute my dog is and you know you go over to these people's houses and the thing just keeps yiping and yiping at your feet begging for food and they're throwing food to it on the floor and they're letting these dogs shit on the floor I, i've seen this i've seen these French bulldogs shitting on the floor and they're just stepping over it or they're putting piss pads down in their own kitchen so the dogs can or in their kitchen in their living room all over their house so these dogs can piss on them like it is it is just this is just another form of the pity it it's the yappy it And the saga continues, only this time it's now intentional because the girl who owns the house lets the dogs rush over to me in my yard. And that's always a pain in the ass. And that's what they'll do. They'll let these dogs come because, you know, it's this tiny little chihuahua or a Yorkie or a Pomeranian or a French Bulldog. And they just let them. The French Bulldogs aren't that bad. I mean, they're genetically retarded. I mean, for real. I mean, a French Bulldog is inbred, so it's... If you ever dealt with them, they're stupid. They're genetic. They're genetically retarded for a dog. They just do dumb shit. But Yorkies, Chihuahuas, Pomeranians—these are the ones that'll just come running at you, jumping all over you, fucking up your clothes. You know, I remember Sparky, my parents' dog, who I didn't want. <clears throat> when, when, um. <laughs> The house got sold that my father stole from the old woman who fell down the stairs and got her to sign everything over to them and then sold her house for a quarter million dollars. The new couple was a young, young couple who were in the process of getting married. Well, on their wedding day, I remember, you know, they're out in front of the house, the wedding party's there, she's coming out in her dress and my mother goes out, she opens the door and boom, like a shot. There goes the dog making a beeline for the bride in her wedding dress. And luckily, just as she the dog went and was about to jump on the dog on the wedding dress on her, one of the groomsmen or was able to grab this dog. Like basically grabs caught him in midair just as he's about because it, it rained, so there was like mud on his paws and like one. He grabbed it and I ran out because I was like horrified. I saw this all happening from the door, from, um, from the window where I was looking out. So my mother went out the front door, which they never use. Dog took off right, right across. And I ran, like, I tried to run out because I saw this all happening. Because I knew what an asshole this fucking dog was. So I saw this all happening and I kind of ran out after it passed. And I'm watching this in slow motion as I'm trying the thing with how fast they goddamn move. And this guy just caught it, mid, caught him midair as he was going to jump on her and on her wedding dress. And when he handed the fucking dog back, I'm like, I am so sorry. I hate this fucking thing. I'm like, nice catch. And I grabbed him and his mud all over his paws. Because, of course, he took the muddiest route he possibly could because he was a a disgusting dirty dirty dog as well so like if you find dirt he's going for it for like so he'd have jumped on this wedding dress with his muddy oh god they don't care i'm like look at this and i turn to my mother look at this look at this <sighs> what if he jot on the dress well he didn't that's the mentality spoiled
There are leash laws in Florida, and the old lady who lives in the house walks all three dogs at the same time. Two off leash, one on leash. Why use a leash at all? Like, why is one on leash and the other two off leash? They all got to be on a leash. Almost every yard on the street has a yard sign saying, keep, keep your dogs off our lawn, including mine. Oh, that's a, like, a, a sign? A sign is a challenge for these people. It's like, oh, really? Oh, really? Well, you're just saying that because you don't know how cute my dogs are. And you don't know how wonderful my dogs are. It's a mental illness. I tried asking nicely, writing letters, animal control, no avail. They lie to animal control and I have proof. You can barely get animal control to do anything with a dangerous dog, let alone a nuisance dog like a, like a Yorkie or a Chihuahua or a barking dog. You can barely get animal control to do anything about a dog that mauls somebody. Now I just keep my phone on me, record as needed and and keep a can of raid and keep a can of raid with me ordering pepper spray next that was what i was gonna that, that was gonna be my next suggestion this these dogs come running at you pepper spray them pepper spray them right in the face and that'll be the last time they come near you just make sure it's legal and make sure you're not doing it on make sure it's got, it's got to be on your property though you don't want to go off property and be walking and pepper spray a pepper spray a, a yorkie Things charging me on your property, pepper spray them. Now I just keep my phone on me, record as needed, and keep a can of raid with me, ordering pepper spray next. Today, same thing. I was in my yard doing yard work, and she came home with her daughter in the car and the three dogs. This time I ran for the spray can and yelled at the dogs, and they kept talking really loud, and she, de and she decided to answer. I only heard a heard clips of a few things she was saying because I was recording at the same time inventing. I heard I was not nice and that things were better when the art, when the narc X lived there 10 years ago. And I guess a few other things, needless to say, he didn't like her. The man who lives right next to her was in his yard. And I guess he ran inside to tell his wife because I didn't see him again until she left more history. They used to block my mailbox with their cars, move my mailbox to the other side when I needed a new one. Her daughter cursed, curses like a sailor about 13 years old, son effeminate, and they were concerned about 14 years old, amazing what you can see from your window. Husband quiet, but no different. Wife is a nasty person, curses like a sailor and yells a lot. Even the narc ex avoided her. And this is what horrible people will do. They'll use a dog for a cover for their awful personality. The yipey dog. Two grandparents, two parents, two children, three dogs all live in the same house. Ugh. It's, yeah, just, it's... Four cars, ATVs, landscaping. Husband is a landscaper. Flatbed attached to van. They use it to... They use it up the entire cul-de-sac. No room for anyone else. Grass rarely maintained. And he's a landscaper and he don't cut his own grass. I'd seen that before too. They have received citations from the city. Well, I, I would keep calling on that. If they're getting citations for that, I would keep hammering them on that. Dog feces placed directly in garbage can untagged. Flies. So I spray my garbage can down with fly spray in between pickups. They're putting other they're putting their dog shit in other people's garbage cans. Jeez, you know, this is the entitlement. This is the entitlement of the yipey dog class. This is the yipey dog class and they are some entitled motherfuckers. Cause they'll sit there and they'll gaslight you. Oh, it's just a baby. It's just a little baby. It's not. It's not. Ugh. They always have the worst breath too. Those little tiny things have the worst goddamn breath. Cause their teeth all rot out of their mouths. They cause they feed them shit. They feed them from the goddamn table. They overfeed them. They give them whatever the fuck they want.
this is all leftover garbage from the marriage because I was disrespected by him and they talked and talked about and talked about behind my back. I got exhausted writing this letter. I just needed to vent. My I own my home and I know one day I'll eventually move, but not now. I'm a firm believer in all rotten things must come to an end. I saw God pick up the narc and I saw God pick up the narc and move him to Texas and I got the most awesome divorce letter ever divorce result ever. After trying to leave several times, prayer works. When the saga ends, I'm sure I'll send you an update. Thanks, Ollie. Oh, short and sweet. You know, a couple things. I mean, I know you don't want, probably don't want to spend the money. I don't know. Since you're in Florida, I don't know what the regulations are. But maybe you could consider putting up a fence in front of your house, like a picket fence or something. You know, who wants to spend that kind of money now? That's unfortunate. I think the best thing you could do is stop fighting. And here's the thing. When you fight them and they know it upsets you, it just motivates them more. It just motivates them to do it more. Get a get a thing of, of pepper spray. The next time one of those things comes at you, hit it in the face. And that'll be the last time. That'll be the last time. And it's, gonna, it's not going to kill it. It's not going to permanently damage it. But it's going to make it go away. And it won't come back. Because dogs do remember. That'll be the last time those dogs come charging at you. Just anytime you're working in your yard, keep your pepper spray on you. If it comes near you, you're getting it in the face. But here, do not, do not engage these people whatsoever. They want the engagement because they know it bothers you. This is why they do it in the first place. This is why they dress these things up and put them in baby strollers and drag them around everywhere and force their will and force their little yipey dogs on people. And I told you, and I've told people, if you're online, if you're like on a dating profile or on Facebook, and you got some, and if you see somebody who's got pictures of their dogs all over the place, their dog is their profile picture, they're constantly holding their dog up, run the fuck away. Run, run, and don't look back. But don't engage these people, because they live for the engagement. They live for it because they know it upsets you and it gives them fucking power. I would I would continue to call on the grass because that seems like it gets it's getting somewhere since they're being cited. I would find out how much you know if how much space they're allowed to take up on the street. I guess a lot. I mean, if he's able to use up the entire cul de sac with his with his vehicles. These are just people who want to impose their will on everyone else and their little yipey dogs is, on, is their way of doing it. But don't engage them directly because you're just giving them what they want. So, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your contribution, Anonymous. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with either the Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, be sure to subscribe to both my channels on Rumble. Follow me on Twitter and Telegram as well. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Societal Narcissism. Take care, everyone.